Well, hello. This is a tutorial to show you how to uh, download the uh, uh, keywords into the AdWords traffic estimator. And what I've done here is I'm starting from the master keyword list. And if you look down the master keyword list, you can see that at the uh, at the extreme right hand side you have these dollar signs. Uh, so you just go to uh, click on one of these dollar signs and it opens up search it in a uh, separate window and already puts the monetization keywords worth Google traffic estimator right into the search uh, for this particular application so all you have to do is press the search it button and it takes you right to the Google AdWords traffic estimator the whole purpose of the Google AdWords traffic estimator as far as uh, site build it is concerned is estimating the amount of money that you can potentially earn with AdSense uh, from the keywords in your master keywords list. Now what you have to do, there's a, a dialog box which allows you to enter keywords individually, but if you copy all of your keywords into a spreadsheet, uh, you have the option of being able to copy and paste all of your keywords into the traffic estimator at once, and so that's what we're going to do. Here I've got the uh, master keyword list dumped into a spreadsheet in uh, XLS or uh, Microsoft Excel format. So I've got everything organized alphabetically. All my keywords are alphabetical. And so I just highlight all of the keywords and copy. Go back to the uh, keywords estimator and just paste them into the dialog. Then I have to choose a currency. I pretend that I have $100 a click to spend on Google AdWords, and I pretend that I have $10,000 uh, budget available to me to buy AdWords advertising. Now don't worry, uh, this doesn't involve any money, you won't get charged for anything, no credit cards involved. Uh, it's strictly, the reason you do this is to make sure that you get all of the cost per click data for all of the keywords and that nothing is excluded. So we deliberately use a high cost per click and a high budget amount. So now you just go down to the bottom of the screen and you see where it says all countries and territories and click the add button so that it calculates data for the entire world. Then just click continue and you'll get a screen which shows you the uh, various uh, data for all your different keywords and we're not interested in all the data here the, the data we want the most is this estimated average cost per click because we know that AdSense will pay us some fraction of that av estimated average cost per click what we're looking for are cost per clicks over a dollar because we know that uh, AdSense will pay us roughly 10 to 15 percent of that amount uh, in order to uh, for AdSense payments. So we need to take this data and download it into our spreadsheet. So we see here that down at the bottom of the, uh, uh, of the dialog box you have this download as CSV which allows you to take all of this data and put it into a spreadsheet. So we'll just go ahead and press that and you'll get this little dialog box asking you if you want to open it with Excel or OpenOffice, which is what I'm using here. You just press that, and it just takes a little time, but it will download uh, the data into the spreadsheet. And it, the reason it takes some time is if you have a antivirus program, it might check to see, uh, make sure that you're not downloading any virus. So that's why it's uh, holding things up a little bit here. But if you click on this highlighted uh, area here, you can see that there's a, a new spreadsheet coming in. And if you look at the data here, it doesn't look quite right. You see all these arrows? Uh, it doesn't quite look like a proper spreadsheet. So what you have to do is make sure that it's separated by tab, that the keywords are separated by tabs. This is kind of like the old-fashioned typewriters where you needed to tab everything across the uh, page to make sure that uh, it looked proper. And you see after you press the tab uh, uh, dialog box, the data sorts itself into a proper order and it looks
looks sensible. So now we can press OK, and we have a spreadsheet with all the data in it. From here on, it's just simple enough to copy all of the data. Go up to Window, over to my original spreadsheet, and what I'll do here is I'll go across and pick an open cell in the first uh, first row and paste. And now you see all of the data coming in from the uh, traffic estimator. Uh, I just check uh, down the rows to see if the keywords match. That's why I left all the keyword information in there. So this is this looks okay. So now that they match, I don't need these three columns anymore. So I'll delete them. And I'm left with two more columns here. I want to keep these two columns because this is the click, the uh, cost per click data. So I'm going to call this the low value and the high value. And I'll just format those so they look a little nicer. And the remainder of the columns I don't need, so I'm going to get rid of those. So now I'm left with a list of keywords and a whole collection of cost per click columns that tell me how much I'm likely to make with AdSense. So if I were to sort this, for example, if I go data sort by, let's say, column F, the low value, in ascending order. Now you can see uh, that here are my low values. So all of my keywords have a cost per click higher than a dollar, which is what I want. And that tells me that roughly I, if I make a, a keyword focused content page for that particular keyword, I should get paid 10 to 15 percent of that value uh, for AdSense. So I should be making perhaps anywhere from 15 to 25 cents per, per click uh, when people are clicking on my AdSense. Now you can see that some keywords are better than others. If you come down here, you can see near the bottom where the higher values are, um, some keywords uh, have a very high value for cost per click because people are spending a lot of money to advertise for those keywords. Now if these happen to be keywords for which you can rank easily, which in this case, this one is, because you can see the profitability is very high, then the potential for making a lot of money with AdSense is also high. So you can imagine if you made 25% uh, of that $4, you'd be making roughly a dollar a click uh, from AdSense. So these are keywords that are worth putting into your um, uh, website. Now, the other thing you may see is this column where it says no data. No data simply means that no one is using these keywords to advertise on AdWords at this moment. So they may not be useful for uh, uh, putting AdSense information on, but that doesn't mean to say that they're no good for things like affiliate advertising and uh, other methods of monetization. So you don't want to delete these. So that's the basic method uh, used in uh, uh, putting the Google AdWords traffic estimator information into a spreadsheet so you can use it as a tool to build your keyword focused content pages.